I've been reading a lot about retinol and I've been seeing ads about the ordinary which is very cheap I think this is eight dollars Canadian I put this on at night so what happened was this has caused me breakouts so I hope you'll watch until the end of this video because I'm gonna show you what happened Welcome everyone to my channel. My name is Jackie D and my goal is to help build your self-esteem to help you find your better version through self-care, mental health, exercise, eating healthy, having a healthy lifestyle because actually all of these help us look youthful and you know we all want to look youthful. When people say you look younger of course it's flattering. We do take that as a compliment. If you look older than our age I know we panic that's normal that's normal for us so my goal is to help lift your morale up help build your self-esteem so I am talking about this I was so excited I've been seeing this in so many ads people were talking about this in their videos so after watching people talk about this for about a month I finally bought my product actually I bought three of them because they were suggested I started using this on December 7th. So the one good thing that we should always do and we're trying a new product is that we should try a new product one at a time so that if there are good effects or if there are harmful side effects, we know exactly what product costs that. I use a lot of different products. I have my exfoliator, I have my mask and things like that. I have my serum, moisturizer and all. So now this is my review about the Ordinary Retinol 1% in Squalane. I would apply these drops on my face at night so I could actually feel that my face was so oily and I would sleep with it of course and on the third day I had my very first breakout in years and then the following day another one here I go like at first I thought oh maybe I didn't have any sleep or maybe did I eat something oily or things like that because I'm not acne prone I've always been blessed with clear skin so I go something's wrong like at my age I'm 62 how can I be having pimples so I stopped for a little bit for about two days and then I go like okay I'm gonna let it rest and then so it didn't multiply and then I applied it again after two days and then I had another breakout here and that was within the first five days and then after that I had two more breakouts. I think I know who the culprit is. I think it's retinol 1%. This one, the ordinary. The past week when I went back to trying it, I actually put very slight, just very, very slight, almost nothing. And that's how I got this pimple. That's it. I am no longer using this. It's very cheap and I know that, you know, Sometimes when it's on sale, when it's cheap, you got to think twice. Of course, it's not always the same for everyone. We all have different skin types. But the fact that I am not acne prone and I've never had any pimples or acne problems all the way until this age, this might be harmful to your skin. So I am ditching this. And actually, I have not even tried these two yet. I'll wait until my face is clear and I'm back to doing all my routine without this one already. Once everything is settled, stabilized, under control, then I'm going to try this. So I always like trying new products, especially if it has a new active ingredient that I know I need. So there you go. So I'm sorry if this is going to burst a lot of bubble. I know that there's a lot of you who also benefit from this and there might be a lot of you who have experienced what I've experienced. So always good to share what we know and what we've experienced. It's always my story that I share and I like sharing that because I think it's how we grow. It's how we help one another, especially with this inflation. Money is not that easy to earn. We got to be very careful with what we buy. So I hope you like this video. If it helped you in any way, shape, or form, don't forget to hit the like button and share and comment. Don't forget to follow me on my other platforms, Instagram at the Real D, TikTok at the Real D, where I dance a lot, and um, 
my Facebook page, Building Your Self-Esteem on Social Media. Thanks so much for watching and I do encourage you to put your comments down below and to share your experiences and together let's help one another fix each other's crowns. Take care. I'll see you in my next video. Love yourself and appreciate yourself every single day. Bye for now.